Real quick, wanted to update you on the new table updates. So the most recent updates that uh, I put in just now have to do with a few different things. So one is um, the One World, I've added a few generic maps that you can use that are just city street maps. So let me show you just kind of where that is. When this loads just like this, uh, I saved it with this uh, cast page going. So you have to initialize One World and then it will load in. So um, you can go to um, next, and this is like the main page that comes in the blank one world. I added a link at the top left up here. This goes back to the cast page, so you could go there if you wanted to, or up at the top right, I've begun a new section of templates. So these are city streets. So I've got four of them in here right now. So you can click on any of these. And when you click on city streets, it brings you to one of them. And this is just the base underlying map. Um, and it does have a link that goes back to um, the main terrain page, but also has links that kind of go to other of the city uh, things. So what you do is you just click build. And when you do that, it takes a second. And this particular model has um, something in here. Uh, a model in here doesn't have the... Um, model or mesh working so that's broken but i can't find it anywhere it would look like a little white blob a, a small white globy blob i couldn't find it anywhere on the map so i'm not sure where it is otherwise you would just delete that off the table and then come back to one world and choose pack and it will repack without that one thing okay so um this is a good 3d you've recognized this from a recent game so that's available to you also Let's go back to, you can also use the One World logo to go forward and back. So that's next and last. So we're going to go last. So here we have the second template. It's called City Intersection. And if we build that up, you'll see that it loads in a map you're familiar with. We've had stuff happen on this map before. Okay, so then we're going to um, go back again to last. Load up city streets again. Let's look at this one here. This is Street Park. So I made this one. Uh, I used that same base map, but I took a aerial Google Photos um, screenshot and I put in a little park that I found in Detroit. So if we hit build, it's going to build out just some 3D elements on the page, on the, on the table. So there you got that. All right, so you got the park and some housing and stuff and some other maybe city kind of buildings. Okay, so we're going to go back again. And our last one is this other intersection. I call it Street Layout 2. Not a very creative name, but for now, it's basically the same under, under thing of streets, a little under image. But this time I put like a hospital at one end with some higher rise buildings. This is kind of a downtown hospital area. It's got a helipad on the roof with a chopper. So you could have an, uh, some kind of scenario here as well. All right. So those are the four that I've added. I've also added um, the ability for GM notes to save to the notebook. So that's this area here. Um, and it will save if you want to export a GM note to a notebook, it will save it there, which will be kind of a good backup or otherwise a place for you to continue to write notes or just kind of save out. It saves that out of this tool and into the notebook. So here's how it works. When we click um, the refresh button here, it goes, looks over the entire table for anything that has a GM note in it. So I have a GM note in the add letter number bag. And then I, this is the uh, thing right here. That's the GM notes. Or, um, little test thing so you can see if you look in here it's got the notes and stuff okay so that I pull this in but let me show you how this export works real quick you just hit the X button I had it disabled before like this G button is uh, disabled it should not work so I click G and nothing happens because it would break the hero mod it would kind of put a window up on the screen the way the hero mod works and it breaks it so I just disabled that button so you can't accidentally break the hero mod but if we click this X button, it says note exported to a black notebook tab. So I added this code to it and you can see now it's got GM notes, GM notes at refresh one. So that's the same name as the object. 
So this would be a good place for you to save the JSON files out of all the minis. It would create a note for each one that you export and put their JSON uh, link uh, in the notebook here as well. So that'd be another way for you to do it, uh, to quickly take it off the mini and put it in the notebook. So you could do that too. Um, all right, so anyway, that's good. And if we make a change, like for example, I'm going to uh, add an extra period at the end of mod, so right here. And so let's close the notebook just so we can see better. And if I click, I make a change inside this note, I could write notes about people or whatever, but then I just click away somewhere and it saves it, right? So uh, then I just hit export again and um, it says it's updated to the notebook. So I hit here and you can see now the mod has two uh, periods after hero mod dot dot. So it does make changes and update those changes. So you could keep notes here and um, this is cool. And then as you click away, it saves it automatically. So it's been updated. And then if I export it, it'll export it to the notebook. So that's just if you want to like make a backup copy so you can see my this is cool is here now. You can also write stuff here, but I have not programmed it yet so that if you write stuff here, it saves it to the the GM note. I, that doesn't go backwards the other way. I, I could, I'll work on that someday. But right now I just wanted to be able to pull everything out, out of a, a mini's GM note and put it up in the notebook if I wanted to. So that's just a new addition that I've added here because I wanted to have that extra feature. That way I could write something, like I could actually just write something about your character inside your GM note. You wouldn't be able to see it, but I would. And then I could export it to the notebook and it would just save it in the notebook. So even if the game crashed, it would um, should be there. Maybe uh, if I save the whole table, then it will save there. But, uh, uh, so I, that's something it's, it's something anyway. So that's why I've done that. And so that's the other feature that is also new and functioning. So there you go. Hopefully this helps and uh, you can, uh, uh, start plinking around with it and uh, maybe get yourself ready to run a game, a scenario for people. So good luck. Thanks. Bye.